All right, Katie, thank you very much. There are a couple of games here that we're going to hit where there are statements that will be made, frankly, with a win or a loss. And this is one of them. I think we all feel that way. Let's start with Auburn. What is the statement if Auburn wins at LSU, Chiz? Mission accomplished. I mean, think about it, guys. They haven't won there since 1999. You all in there, especially coming off of a really bad, poor performance. Now, it was a win last week, but it was a poor performance, right? Coming off of that performance, coming into Baton Rouge and being able to take a game like that, that's what you can build on because the next four weeks – after the game in Baton Rouge, mm-hmm. doesn't get any easier for Auburn. All right, there are people certainly doubting Auburn after the way they had to come from behind against Georgia State at home. If Auburn wins, that means LSU, the three-game winning streak is over. They lose at home to a West rival. What's the statement there if you're LSU? The statement is the immortal words of Tom Petty, free falling, right? Wow. This is a schedule that doesn't get any easier for LSU. They go to Kentucky. They play at home against Florida. They have to go on the road against Ole Miss. They play at home against Bama and at home against Arkansas. Oh, by the way, you can't be really confident after you should beat the Sovereign team at home. You haven't uh, lost to them, and we've well documented a long, long time. So this is a game you got to have. Haven't lost to them at home since Cole had hair. Okay. That's right. LSU wins. What's that statement? Uh, the statement is crisis averted. You know, this is a game that I think could send them into a, da- a tailspin if they don't win it. Yeah. Uh, but winning this football game is going to allow them to at least have another week of stability, which it feels like they're on the right track. No doubt. That means Auburn would have lost this game. What's the statement there? Well, if Auburn wins the football game, we already said it was going to be mission accomplished. If they lose, it's a battle for the locker room, right? Because, guys, what do we know in a new coaching staff in a new era? If you're losing football games, they played ugly last week. A battle for the locker room, the trust of the players, the outside noise starts creeping in. All of those things happen. It will be a battle for every coach on that staff to keep that locker room together. No doubt. Because of a particular podcast about Auburn this week, things started to get ugly, I know, down there as well. All right, pick the score of this game, LSU off. I I just think LSU is in a better situation right now. I think there's too much... uh, chaos going on on the plane, so I'm going LSU 31-23. Yeah, I'm going to go LSU 27-17. I, I, I point to the play of Max Johnson the last couple of weeks. Come on. Nine well, touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Some new receivers are starting to emerge. The Deion Smiths, a lot of young guys. It's not just Keyshawn Butte anymore. There's other guys coming into the mix, but I really like the way the offense is progressing right now with Max right. Johnson. How about a couple other teams that are going head-to-head? Fan base is kind of wondering, are we going anywhere near the right direction? Mississippi State at Texas A&M. Let's say Mississippi State goes into Kyle Field and gets a win. What is that statement for the dog? It's a huge momentum shift. I think everything changes right now with a huge win like that. Go ahead and look at the early parts of the season, right? Didn't play well against Louisiana Tech, but pulled it out. Got beat by Memphis. All of a sudden, got beat by LSU, who they destroyed last year, right? they got to get back on track. They're starting to hit the SEC West schedule. This will be a huge momentum shift, and they need it right now. Yeah, if you're Texas A&M and you lose this game, though, you're going to be lucky to win nine games. Again, you talk about how difficult that schedule is in the SEC West. You're not running the football very well. You're not taking the pressure off of Zach Calzada. Your receivers aren't doing much to get open. I just think right now this is a bad situation Mm -hmm. offensively that doesn't look like it's going to get any better. All right, now flip side. Home team, A&M wins this game. You're Mississippi State. You would have lost three in a row. What's that say? DEFCON 3. I'm not going to say it's an all-out panic in DEFCON 1, but we're at DEFCON 3 at this point, right? Guys, this offense was made to destroy people with the passing game in the air, right? Year 2 is supposed to be the year where you see all this progress. Well, right now, scoring offense, it's number 11 in our conference. Right now, they still haven't cracked the code on the three-man rush. Last week, LSU rushed three. The first 27 plays of the game and got a fumble and an interception. So they got to crack the code on that. Uh, could get interesting. Yeah, if uh, Texas A&M happens to win the game, Jimbo Fisher will be seen going like this. Whew, because this is a game they're supposed mm-hmm. to win, right? They're favored. <laughs> they should be able to beat this Mississippi State team. But right now, again, as I mentioned, it's a dangerous time for them because I'm not sure who they kn- uh, believe they are offensively trying to figure out that identity without the run game that we've known them to have so much success with under Jimbo Fisher. Yeah, it feels like for this game, like Auburn A&M, maybe there's more to be lost than gained potentially here, but let's pick this game, Mississippi State. I'm actually going with an upset. We've talked a lot about the upset that I think is going to happen with another Mississippi team. I'm going with the the Quinella in the state of Mississippi. I'm going with Mississippi State winning 20-17. to I'm going to go with A&M 35-28. I think A&M can get it together this week. Look, they're going to go back and look and see the things that they were deficient on last week. 
particularly in the Arkansas game. But it's time for this offense. We saw them about th game three or four last year make a lot of progress against Florida. It's time for that to happen this week for A&M, and I think it happens. Mm, I love it when you two differ on a pick. All right.